What's going on guys, Burrito here, and today I'm going to be doing a gaming mouse review video. So I'm going to be comparing wired versus wireless gaming mice, and I'm going to tell you why these four are my favorite. So first we're going to jump right into the wireless industry. So as you can see right here, I have the Logitech G703. That is what the back looks like. It has a weight section right here. I don't use the weights because I like lighter mice. Then it has the DPI button right there. And the way you connect this mouse is by this cord right here. So it comes with this USB-C type thing, which you use to plug into the cord. And this is what makes it wired or wirelessly. And when you plug that in, you're gonna make sure that the switch that is on red, you're gonna make sure it's on green. And then once it's on green, you can use your mouse. Then, when your mouse is about to die, you're gonna unplug the wireless, and you're gonna plug your mouse in wired. But you have to make sure that your mouse is switched on red for it to charge. And then you know that it's charging because the scroll wheel RGB will be flashing green. So that is for the Logitech G703. Now we're gonna jump right into the Corsair Harpoon. So this mouse can go wired and wirelessly, just like all wire wireless mouses or mice. And it comes with a USB uh, wireless, uh, just USB. And you plug it into the back of your PC or the front or wherever you plug it in. And that is how you use it wirelessly. You're gonna make sure that the switch right here on the back is set to 2.4G, that will make it so it is wireless. Then, once again, once you wanna charge it, you're gonna plug it in through the back, like that, and then you're gonna switch it to off, and then it will charge. Now, jumping into the wired gaming mice. Right here, we have the SteelSeries Rival 600, you can unplug it and plug it back in. It does not go wirelessly, however. So I gotta say, this has gotta be my one of my favorite uh, wired gaming mice. I just love the feel of it. It does come with weights on the sides and the back. You just take that off and put it back on. It's magnetic. So this has gotta be one of my favorite. But this is the final mouse, Cape Town. So, as you can see, I have the Infinity Skins on the back, the sides, and the Infinity Skins, what they are is they're like grips. So use them to obviously grip your uh, mouse. You can put one grip right there. I don't use that grip because I, don't, I think that takes up too much space, and I only like the grips around the sides and for the back of my palm. So it comes in this mouse's package, or this gaming, uh, yeah, this gaming mouse package is Infinity Skin Tablets. So obviously it comes in a little box and you're gonna open it and that's where you get your renewed Infinity Skins. They come in three different sizes. I use the middle size. So that is the Final Mouse Cape Town. And now I'm gonna uh, tell you guys what my favorite wireless and wired mouse is now. So if I were to choose a favorite out of these four, I would choose for the wireless section, definitely, definitely the Logitech G703, this right here. This is around, uh, I got it for around 70 on Amazon. So this is definitely a very, very good mouse. I love it. The wireless, there's, the response time is amazing. The battery life is amazing and the charging is just so easy. Then for the wired section, I would definitely choose the Cape Town just because of how light it is and how easy it is to maneuver. It is just a phenomenal mouse. But if you either don't like these two or you just have something against them, I would definitely go with the Corsair Harpoon for wireless or the Rival 600. So I will be linking 
all of these uh, on their on Amazon, all four of these products, because these are definitely the four gaming mice that I would recommend for sure. That is, these are the best I think on the market for their price, for their availability, and obviously their function. So if you guys have any questions, make sure to either ask in the comment section or ask in my Discord server, which will be linked below and definitely give me some more ideas on what to do. I will be making another Discord bot video today, so make sure to cue into that. I appreciate you guys watching the video and have a great day.